Hello, in this video I will be demonstrating CyberHound's comprehensive access policy system and explaining how it can be used to control a wide variety of traffic under different conditions. CyberHound access policies can control all forms of traffic from simple source and destination IPs or ports through to all port application scanning and full URL categorization for both HTTP and HTTPS streams. Policies are processed top-down and the first policy to match wins. Therefore, the order in which these policies are organised is important. However, it's very easy to both create policies on the CyberHound appliance and order them accordingly. An access policy is made up of three conditions. Who, when and what. Each of these three conditions have their own corresponding criteria. All three conditions need to be true for the access policy to apply at which point there are three available actions allow, block or bypass HTTPS inspection and allow. Who this policy applies to can be a combination of group membership, source IP address or how the traffic is hitting the CyberHound appliance via the transparent proxy or direct proxy or via the Roam Safe agent. When will this policy apply can be controlled via time of day or date settings. Both criteria can be specified to ensure policy applies during specific times of the day between two or more dates. What is this policy looking for analyzes the type of traffic and where it's going to. There are a number of criteria available under the what condition. The URL categorization is the most commonly used criteria. With close to 500 categories available and a very easy and intuitive interface to manage them, CyberHound administrators have at their disposal the capacity to finally control the types of websites that are allowed or blocked to end users. The web application criteria give the CyberHound appliance more control over applications commonly used on iOS and Android devices without complex and resource intensive processing of that data. Network application criteria enable CyberHound administrators unprecedented control over non-web based and port roaming traffic giving true layer 7 or application aware capabilities. Applications like Skype and peer-to-peer -peer clients such as BitTorrent are notoriously difficult to manage with standard firewalls whilst trying to maintain a secure environment for end users. CyberHound access policies have the ability to very quickly and easily create a policy to control who has access to applications such as Skype and when they can use these applications. Other features of access policies are the ability to create notes to each policy, thereby giving a clear picture to staff as to the intention of that policy, which can be very useful when reviewing the policy map months later. The ability to blacklist a user for a predefined period of time when a policy is triggered. For example, if a user has tried to run up the Tor browser, which can be interpreted as an overt attempt to circumvent the CyberHound filtering, that user can then be denied access for a period of time, thereby giving IT staff time to investigate. Alerts can be generated whenever a policy is triggered. This can be used in conjunction with the blacklisting feature or independently giving key staff real-time awareness of critical events. 